What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of the Tech once again, and we have a new release from Team Red Miner that supports both ETH and Ton dual mining, and this should increase the profitability on your farm. If you aren't aware, we have already covered, of course, the dual mining release from LOL Miner as it pertains to ETH and Ton. You can check that guide out in case you need support for NVIDIA GPUs. Of course, LOL Miner does support the AMD GPUs as well. So why would we switch to Team Red Miner? Well, a very basic reason is that they have improved the hash rate on Navi and Big Navi GPUs while dual mining Ton by 20 to 25% for Ton portion of this dual mining. So we're going to get into how to set it up in Hive OS. We're going to talk a little bit about the improvements that I've seen and all of that right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is BT Miners. Purchasing mining equipment online can be dangerous. With all of the fake storefronts and scams, it can be hard to find a reliable source. That's why when BT Miners reached out for a channel sponsorship, I started by verifying that ordering and delivery went smoothly with a purchase of my own. If you are looking to purchase ASICs hardware from Bitcoin to Dogecoin miners, they are available for purchase on bt-miners.com. BT Miners is a trusted source by both asicminervalue.com and cryptominer.com. Follow the affiliate link in the description and use promo code free shipping 2021 for free shipping on your order. Welcome back. So we're going to just hop right into it. I actually am still in the process of upgrading my 5000 series rigs, but we have a lot going on here. So in the dashboard, what you are going to need to do is I'm going to assume that you've already followed the guide on how to add the Ton wallet, etc. The next thing that you're going to need to do is basically create a flight sheet. And basically, you're going to go to your flight sheets and we're just going to edit the one that we have running right here. So I'm going to click edit so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, the coin we have set as Ethereum and our wallet is currently our crypto.com Ethereum wallet. And then we have our pool as Flex Pool because that's the one I'm using for Ethereum. And then you're going to go ahead and come in here to the miner setup and select Team Red Miner. Now this is the important part to get the dual mining started because LOL Miner actually has it set up like in this GUI for you to go ahead and add the second miner. That's not the case for Team Red Miner right now. So you have to go into Setup Miner Config. And once you're in Setup Miner Config, you're going to need to change or add to this config arguments, extra config arguments. I will have this pasted, copy and pasted down in the description below, I will replace my wallet address and my my rig name with, of course, just the defaults. You'll want to put your Ton wallet address in here and your rig name in right here, however you want it. And then that should report to the pool. A note on pools. We currently only have with Team Red Miner two supported pools, and that is Ice Mining and then the Ton Coin pool. Now, there isn't verification that anything nefarious is necessarily going on on the Ton coin pool. However, it is very obvious that there is a reduction in the rewards on Ton coin pool. So I'm going to point you guys to utilizing ice mining in this particular case, at least until Team Red Miner gets more pools supported. The reason for this, of course, is just the different connection protocols that go on here and Team Red Miner specifically, just to be clear, has not endorsed either one of these pools officially. These are just the ones that they are able to support at this time. Do not get it confused. Also, never get it confused of when I show you guys certain pools or certain miners, etc., that I am endorsing that at all. Remember, this is an ever evolving space. And so, for example, we have switched miners three times now for the RTX 3050. And this is the way it functions. If you are trying to stay on top of things and optimize, I'm going to try to keep you guys up to date. It doesn't mean that you should just stick to the same miner at all times. Now, the version needs to be the latest. Latest will work. If you are having trouble, you can do 0 0.921. 0.9.2 was the first edition for this to be supported. And then, of course, you're just going to click update and it'll roll out. 
A note about that, of course, is that you do, in this particular case, have to update the images on your Hive machines. So if we go back to our Hive here, and it looks like for whatever reason, we're having some disconnected rigs, probably from the weather here. That's a little, that just happened literally while we're recording this video, but let's take Rig09, for example, here, uh, that actually has one that fell off. One of the things that I need to mention too is this three giga hash a second thing on the 5000 series GPUs. It happens on all my rigs except for one while utilizing LOL Miner. It doesn't appear to be accurate. It's a little funky though because it will show it in the pool. However, it doesn't seem to translate into payouts to be clear. That aside, we're talking about switching it over to Team Red Miner. So we have the flight sheet created. We're going to go to our flight sheets. We're going to hit the flight sheet button and it'll start loading that flight sheet. But you're not really done here because you see we're behind on images. So we need to update that image. The easiest, quickest way to update that image is just to get your Hive Shell started, in my opinion. So you can go up here to the remote access and click Hive Shell Start. And then once it starts, we're going to log in. We're going to kill the miner because more than likely it's not going to be functioning because it won't have the latest image. And then we're going to force a self upgrade. And this is the quickest way that I have found for this to basically function. So we're going to go into here. We're going to click in and then we are going to come into our miner. And what you'll see here is this is what it's going to look like on Team Red Miner if you don't have the right version. And you can see here it says Team Red Miner version 0.8.0. So we're going to control AD out of there. We're going to say Miner Stop. Once it's stopped, we're going to type in Self Upgrade and then dash dash Force. And then we're just going to go ahead and click that through and it's going to go through and update that miner. In all of the cases that I've seen, once that miner is updated, it starts functioning perfectly fine. And so you can see we had the we had a brief little overview there. There was a problem. And so you can see here that uh, we have essentially the Octo 12 here is upgraded. It's running on that flight sheet. And this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys is the improvements that we are seeing. So whereas these sat somewhere between 700 or, or really five, 400 to 500 mega hash a second on Ton, it has gone up to basically between 800 or 700 and 1100. So it really depends on the overclocks and et cetera, heat problems like that. These are not tuned in by any means, but at this point, it is pretty clear that that 20 to 25% improvement is true when, uh, when we are taking a look at the finals. If we wanted to take a look at RX 6000 series, these are doing uh, pretty well as well. So you can see here, we're getting the like on the 6600s, the 28 mega hash a second, and then like 1.173 giga hash a second on Taunt. So this one is updated as well. You can see here we have that set up and everything's good to go. So if you guys have any more questions, let me know. That should get you up and running pretty darn quick on Team Red Miner. There are improvements here. The biggest improvement that I've seen so far is on the RX 6900 XT. It's actually running on Windows back here on this machine. And that one's pumping out incredible numbers like pretty much if it's overclocked, it's like 61 mega hash a second. And then on the Ton, it's like 4.5 uh, giga hash a second. Sorry, mega hash a second on Ethereum, 61 mega hash a second on Ethereum and then the 4.5 giga hash a second on Ton. The improvement doesn't stop there. If you were looking at wanting to just mine Ton by itself, if you took a look at the 6900 XT, for example, if we were on LOL miner, it would be around that four giga hash a second, which is what we saw four to 4.6 giga hash a second, somewhere along those lines. If you solo mine, with the Team Red Miner in particular, you get all the way up to 5.8 giga hash a second, which makes it, if it's just single mining, still more profitable on Ton for the 6900 XT just solo than it is on Ethereum. Of course, with that dual mining, you're gonna bump that up even more. A note about all of this, if you didn't follow the previous video, 
Big disclaimer here, make sure your power supplies are ready to handle this. You do have an increased amount of power demand through not only the risers, but also through the general PC, your, you know, PCI Ex Express power adapters, the six and eight pins. So a note on that too is because you might or potentially are going to be pulling more wattage through the riser. Do not use SATA or Molex adapter for your risers. End of story if you're going to be doing this. Just don't do that. Make sure you have a six pin in those risers ready to go. Then you should be locked in. You're talking about up to 50% increase in power consumption. Make sure you have the overhead of that on each individual rig before applying any sort of dual mining. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell. We are staying up to date as much as possible with everything crypto mining. A part of that is the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 9.45 a.m. Central Time. I will see you Woo, next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.